Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Only Jax, and welcome to today's video. It is the first video of the year, so happy 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed your New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and are already living it up, all right? So, for today's video, we are going to do a bit of a tradition last year i believe on january 11th i uploaded the video of my mbti which if you don't know it's basically your personality i have no idea what it stands for but i know it's your personality last year i think i got intp no i got an e and i don't believe it because i was so introverted last year it's not even funny so i was extroverted what does n mean f ENFP, F means feeling, and P means persistent, I don't know, but um, I know two of those letters. <laughs> and I feel like I really did get out of my shell this year, I really, I mean last year. So I think I'm E still, but we don't know. So we're going to take the test again and we're going to see what we come out with because... I just love this i think it's like great it like talks so much about my personality and how much i've grown especially with just e and i introverted and extroverted like what so let's do this okay so we're gonna do this now you regularly make new friends let me think I get along with my coworkers. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm definitely much more easier to talk to, but I did not make any new friends this last year. So, a middle disagree. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Oh my god, why does it smell like fart in here? I don't know, we're just gonna keep moving on. Oh my god. Am I bleeding? Why are my lips so red? <laughs> it'd be the wheeze. I would say disagree. It takes me, it's very hard for me to cry, but also very easy. Like, if I watch like Toy Story, I'm bawling my eyes out. But if I see someone else cry, it's like, why are you crying? Like, are you okay? You know, I'm a bad. I, I don't know how to cheer people up. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yeah. I hate to say it. Yeah. I'm answering as honest as I possibly can. Like, I'm in the corner, like, like this is party. You know? If my one friend leaves, it's, like, over for me. It's over. I look like a loser. You are more inclined to follow your head more than your heart. Um, Yeah. I'm sorry, it's just the brain is so much more knowledgeable than the heart. I'm not saying that my heart isn't smart. My heart is smart, okay? It's just that you can't beat what's up there. I feel like I'm just disrespecting my body. Okay, let's just stop. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on the people you meet. Honestly, no. I'm very shy and very like nervous at times, but I could care less what you think of me. I can care less of you meeting me and you know you think that i'm too quiet or i'm too i don't know i just don't care your happiness comes more from helping your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishment yes oh yes i don't know why i just love seeing people smile for some reason i'm i'm always helping everyone I guess I'm just a giver. We get it. We get it. You're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Yes, I always be thinking like if I do this step, what happens if I did it wrong and then this happens and then I get arrested? Or if I do this and then I kill myself? I'm always thinking like that. You think the world would be better a place if people relied more on rationality and less with their feelings yes i feel like just having i just feel like going by the information that's given to you and everything else it just falls into place 
you prefer to do chores before allowing yourself to relax i do the chores when it's bothering me while i'm relaxing so <laughs> that's just me though you know you enjoy watching people argue yes and no i like it when it's like the beginning where it's like they're yelling and stuff like that and then when it's like oh dang this is about to get physical i get a bit more excited but then when it actually happens i'm like damn this gotta stop i think i'll go with agree <laughs> i like to watch before you sorry you have always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death i'm not fascinated i'm terrified i'm not scared of dying i'm scared about what happens after you die because then you're just dead for eternity like eternity no n no end so i'm just like what do you mean like what do you mean you know what i mean i don't know you rarely second guess choices you have made disagree i'm always second guessing myself i'm always like are you sure about that did you double check are you sure that that's the right color? Are you sure that that is how much it costed? Did you just waste our money? I'm always second guessing myself. I'm like, I'm my biggest doubter. <laughs> I don't know why. You often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from yours. Disagree, I don't have time to listen to wrong opinions. I'm sorry. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence and the meaning of life agree i don't know i just feel like we're just put on here just to live <laughs> i don't give much thought of that you feel more drawn to places with busy bustling atmosphere than quiet intimate places i like quiet intimate places because sometimes i can't be thinking it's already a mess up here i don't need it to be a mess out there i'm sorry i keep on saying i'm sorry i'm not sorry i'm not oh by the way you catch that I'm just letting you know, follow me on TikTok because you will see me unwrap this. Okay. You often feel overwhelmed. Yes. Even when I have nothing to do. But I feel like that's everyone. I feel like I'm, I'm everyone. I'm you. You are me. I am you. You are me. We are each other. We are one. I don't know where that came from. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Yes. I'm not even trying to be funny anymore because I love everyone. I love you guys. Mwah. I love you guys. And I love this whole world. So if you guys have a good opportunity, you and me were presented with the same opportunity, I would give it to you. Because I love you. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, you struggle with deadlines. Yes. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Yes, I always feel it. I feel it. I feel like no matter what I do, it's always just gonna work out. It's gonna work itself out. Like, yeah, I need to understand every single step and do everything just as it was said. But even if I mess up, it's like, okay, well, it's okay. It'll work itself out. It'll work itself out. I know myself. I know my life. I know that I'm loved and it'll work itself out. Okay, my gender. I am female. See results. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be E. <laughs> I'm ISTP. Okay, let's read the description, okay? Let's get into the description. Okay, so I am 22% extroverted and 78% introverted. I am 64% observant and 36 intuitive. I am 61% thinking and 39% feeling, so I think more than I feel. I am, okay, I'm not that judging. I am 67 prospecting. What does that mean? Prospecting individuals are very good at improvising and adapting to opportunities. They tend to be flexible, non-conformist, to value novelty over stability. Yes. I am self-conscious and sensitive to stress. Okay. You got me there. You got, you got me there. 
to my head. Direct but reserved, calm but suddenly spontaneous, industrious but focused on their own priorities. People with ISTP personalities type can be a challenge to predict, even by their friends and loved ones. They can seem very steady for a while, but they tend to build up and store impulsive energy and explodes without warning, taking their interests in bold new directions. Okay, okay, you ate me up on that, you ate me up on that. I am diligent but observant. I'm handy and resourceful. I'm spontaneous, direct and authentic, independent, dang, okay. I didn't know y'all thought about that, but I don't think I'm independent, but I guess if y'all think I am. Grounded, okay? Now, my weaknesses. Unapologetic. <laughs> that is so funny after I just said I'm not sorry. I keep on saying I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Insensitive, private and reserved, easily bored, independent, over skeptical. <laughs> Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Okay. Y'all got me. An independent heart. Early in dating, these individuals can be especially difficult to get to know. They live in the present. They generally prefer partners who are more focused on the practices of the present than the hypotheticals of the future or the feelings of the past. That is so me. I am so tired of people reminiscing about the past, bro. People saying, bring back the 2016s. Bring back the early 2000s. Girl, live in the 2024. Live in the 2020s, please. Because then you guys are going to be like, bring back the 2020s, but you're over here reminiscing about that. And the people that were reminiscing about the 2016 we're reminiscing about the 2000s stop reminiscing and live in the future i mean live in the present but i do think about the future a good amount of times okay so i make excellent mechanics equipment operators data analysts and forensic science oh my god that's what i was studying when i first got out of high school that's crazy all right guys so i I'm ISTP, I think last year I was ESFP, whatever, ENFP, I was ENFP. I don't know, I really wanna be E, I really wanna be E. I really, 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 really wanna be E. I, you know, nothing wrong with being introverted, it's just, I think it's finally time for me to break out of my shell, you know? Give me a moment. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Like I said, I really am going to try and change myself from an I to an E, so let's do that. And if you have taken this test, leave a comment on what you got. And yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down on what I should do next. And also while you're at the post notifications, I am uploading weekly, maybe twice a week. We don't know. I'm not gonna make promises that I can't keep, but maybe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let me do it correctly. Cause it's the new year, a new video of the year. Love you. Love you.